just a quick um, little show and tell and review of these um, collection of lip balm tins that I've got. Now I think this one appears to be made in the style and colour cost skates combination of the aloe vera Vaseline one, but it's by um, Simply Scrumptious, is it? camera's not going to focus on it properly, and I'm in a dim light. It's another Simply Scrumptious. So I'll, I'll, I'll put it on the macro setting in a minute, and then we can look at them a bit better. Um, this is my favourite. This one is absolutely lovely. The smell's lovely. It's meant to be like pink champagne. It was a limited edition one. Um, all from Poundland, or the 99 pence shop, I might add. And um, so that's one of the... I'll show the colour ones in a minute. But I've got, this is like a limited edition tin. So I like this. It's an old-fashioned style tin. I love this one, the Nivea Lip Butter. But I think, unfortunately, in time, these tend to go a bit horrible. It had, I think it had like a bit of mould or something on it once it was it'd been used and then shut in the tin shut up after. You can't leave them undone, but. It looked like it had like slight yellow fur, unless that was just a bit of makeup that had got on there. I thought oh, it was, you know, they can. Ugh. It was a bit off-putting, but I scraped all the top off because I hadn't had it very long. So I'll have a look in a minute and see what it's like. See what it's like. I don't think I'll show it on camera. It might be a bit revolting to look at if it's got yellow, like, gunge growing on it. But um. I'd, I'd just not use it there and just scrape it out and keep the little tin because I, I doubt these little tins being an obsessive collector of things <laughs> so anyhow let's go on macro setting and I'll be back uh, first of all I've just loosened their lids so that you can see inside this is a simply scrumptious aloe vera and if you're wondering why it's got those funny indentations I'll explain how I use it I don't like um putting my finger in like that to get it out I think that's going to put germs in it so I use the make sure I've got a clean nail I use the back of my nail and I just I won't do it now because I don't want to put any on the moment what well, I show you and I will because um, this is the wrong hand though I usually use this hand I, so I make sure I've got a clean nail and I just scrape a bit out on the back of my nail like that and then apply it to my lips and then I think it's keeping it cleaner because you know I make sure the back of my nail is clean and then I think it saves her, because if you, you're putting your fingers in and putting it straight on your lips, you're going to get all sorts of germs in there. And um, now this is the, uh, the Vaseline rose. See, it's not going to focus. I need it on macro setting. I'll be back. Hang on a moment. This is the limited edition one. Lip therapy, limited edition. I got this last Christmas at Poundland. Jelly with a hint of difference. No, a hint of decadence. With a hint of decadence. Unilever. Oh, because it doesn't say it's um, pink champagne, does it? Why did I think it was then? I'm wasting time doing this, but um, it smells sort of like pink champagne. Well, that's what they call pink champagne, don't they? Pink bubbly, <laughs> so silly me. And yeah, this is what that looks like. It doesn't look very appetising, does it? It's, it? It goes on colourless. It's got those little indentations because I use the back of my nail, as I said. I've shown you this one, the Simply Scrumptious Aloe Vera Lip Balm. I'm obviously copying the the Vaseline. There's a. This is another. Oh, beautifully scrumptious, right? Mm, you can see it now. The camera's on the proper macro setting. Beautifully scrumptious, not simply scrumptious. Limited edition red lip tint. That's what this one looks like. So I've only used a bit. There's only one swipe gone from that. Um, as you can see. And that's. Um, yeah, it hasn't got. I can't say it's got any particular. Aroma. This one smells lovely. Let's compare these reds a minute. The, the, the Vaseline red, the, this one, which is a lighter colour. And oops, stuck my thumb now in that. That wasn't very good, was it? Well, those two are the same. That one's a darker colour. And I've put the lid back on here now, so I'm going to hang on a moment. Oh dear.
Right, so this one, the, the beautifully scrumptious. I must remember which lid goes where, mustn't I? I think that's the same colour as the Vaseline, this one. And those two Vaselines are the same colour. So it's showing up more now. That this limited edition, beautifully scrumptious, that one, is the same colour, more or less, slight difference between this Vaseline one and those two Vaseline ones are exactly the same. Okay, this one is a limited edition number three, Vaseline Paint the Town Red Lip Tint. Paint the Town, it's called. Now, that packaging reminds me a bit of the special limited edition Baby Lips Maybelline 100 year anniversary <laughs> with the um, skyscraper. Not that it's anything particularly like it, it's just me thinking it looks similar, I suppose. That's yeah, not going to focus on that, it's just the list of ingredients petrol atom. Sodium lauryl sulf so well that's not a good thing to have in it, is it? Sodium lauryl sulfate. I know that can be bad for people with skin conditions, psoriasis, eczema, like in bath products, but still it's lip balm, isn't it? This one is this, and that's the lip therapy with rose and almond oil, petroleum jelly, rosy lips. This one's called same. I didn't realise they had sodium lauryl sulphate, is it? I can't see it on this one, it just says ingredients. Yes, yeah, so that one's probably a bit better, it's a bit more simple ingredients in it. Oh, hang on, I didn't tell you what it... can't notice any particular smell from it. And this, of course, is the same one. This is the, um, established 1872. This is like an old-fashioned one, look, rosy lips, it's the same. It's the same, it's just, um, different packaging. And, uh, yeah, it's got a very slight detectable scent, nothing really to speak of. This is the best scent, it's lovely. And this is the lip butter, I'm almost a frightened, a raspberry rosé. Raspberry rosé. So another one that I thought was raspberry rose, and it's actually French rosé. So you learn thing, something every day. Oh, it doesn't look too bad, I suppose. It's got the yellow's not on there. I can't notice any detection of yellow. Oh, a lot, lot of ingredients in this one. Oh, yes, it smells nice. It still smells all right. I'm wondering if that was little grains of yellow makeup I saw on there, you know. Like, great, could have been like little um, particles, specks of yellow eyeshadow that had fallen onto it. Yeah, but uh, no, I, I did sort of scrape it. Or could, could could have been foundation, because I stuck my lips in it to um, put it on one day, and it could have been foundation, some foundation, because I usually use the accessorised foundation, or the, um, oh, as I've shown before, the accessorised foundation, or the um, snake venom. So I, I just did it up, and then some fluff from some of the fur on my cardigan went into it. So yeah, that smells nice. I didn't tell you what this one smells like, I didn't actually, let's see. Yeah, it smells different to the rosy lips, it has got a very slight scent. But I don't use these very often because I use my babe lips, but I usually use this one when I, before I go to bed, I put that on my lips at night, this particular one, because it's colourless. And when I stay at my friend's house, I tend to use that one there. I keep this one down there, but I brought it home today so I can do the um, recording. So yeah, that's it. That's my little collection of um, lip balm tins. Oh, they make a nice, satisfying little sort of tin, tin sound when you push them together. Like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, so that's that. That's they. One last look at the little tins. Mm, that is lovely, this pink bubbly. Wish they would, I hope they do this one again this Christmas, pink bubbly. I don't expect they will, but it's lovely. I love the smell of it. It's quite refreshing, and I don't know if it does smell like pink champagne, because I've never had pink champagne, but it, it's lovely anyway. So, all for now. Bye. Bye. Um, I don't know if I mentioned about this either that um that this is the only one i probably have already said this but 
none of them have got what you call a really strong scent. This is the um, the only one that's got any particular aroma. And um, it does smell. It's got a lovely smell. I don't know how to describe it. It's sort of fresh. Mmm. Oh, it's really nice. And this is how I I get the back of my nail, like so. I hope the, cam I hope the web cam is picking this up. And I, get, I don't usually get that much. A great dollop like that. But just a little bit to put on. And I usually do it. Um, and I stay here before I go to bed. Mmm. It's very refreshing. Nice. And of course the others, the rosy lips one and the others, they give you a slight hint of colour as well, which looks nice. But yeah, this is my favourite in scent. Because um, the red ones, you might think they'd have a strong berry smell or something, but they haven't really got much of an aroma at all. But I like, I, and I love the Nivea one. The, um, the p slight, very pale pinky one you do get a slight color with that when it's on your lips so that's all I wanted to say in case because I don't think I mentioned that and I like to give as much information as possible and usually fall short of doing what I intended because I forget or whatever let me just put this light out a moment I might show um show up a bit better if the light was out wait let's here we are yeah I hope they do this again this Christmas um so yeah, but bye for now. Well, they'll probably be a bit added on, so I won't say but bye to this little segment, but keep watching. Well, you don't have to keep watching if you don't want to. You probably switched off already, but I should stop, stop, stop with the negativity. Stop saying that. So bye for now. Right, there's a swatch of the rosy lips. Like Vaseline. So you get quite a good bit of colour. So um yeah. Not bad at all. For tinned lip balm. Right, I forgot to do the swatches, so I'm doing them at night now, but they're in a like a this camera can cope with the light, so in this order. Those are the two rosy lips, those two ones there. This one is this one, which is the um, limited edition, uh, beautifully scrumptious. Then it's the Vaseline one, and then it's that pink one. And I'm going to rub them in there and put it on the macro setting so they show up a bit more. Right, I've just put new batteries in the camera, so now hopefully it won't switch off as soon as uh, it did as soon as I put it on the macro setting. So anyhow, the um, rosy lips. And this rosy lips, even though they're both, the, uh, I've done them both as they're, even though they're the same because they're different packaging. So that's those two. Then this one is the beautifully scrumptious limited edition red lip tint, just called red. I showed you all this yesterday. So that's that one there, that orangey red one in the middle. Then we have the Vaseline limited edition paint the town, and that's that one there next to the orangey one. And then of course it's the lip butter, the raspberry rose. The pale pink one by Nivea. So there they go. That's them. There they are. Hope this helps someone. That was I'm um, wanting to know what you know. They're they're very sheer, obviously, but you do get quite a good colour with them, even with that pale pink one. <laughs>